Hello, I am a master at getting rejected. My name is Joy. I'm a musician and a metaphysician, even though that's kind of a cold because I am Christian. But I just teach energetics and teach people how to understand the spiritual realm and also understand themselves and understand it in relation to beauty, in relation to business, in relation to everything that life throws at us because it all ripples into everything. But how do I understand and move through rejection quickly, bounce back, and I'm on to the next thing? The first thing is that you are no master manifester if you are afraid of rejection, okay? Not one person who's manifested anything great or anything mediocre or anything in reality did so without rejection. That's just not, that's, I mean, nobody has. And so I don't, a lot of our egos believe that we are special from that. We are like, there's some people who are extra lucky and then there's the people who are just not lucky in, in some metaphysical and real truth um that's true but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's true okay so first of all your goal my values are different than most people so most people's values are to be happy and my values are to be epic so you know i can if your value is to be happy when you get rejected you're going to stop because it does not make you feel happy if your goals are to be epic, then you don't stop because your goal was never to be happy. You said, fuck that shit. That's in the trash. I'm like, I like, it's too high. For some people, like, happiness was never something like it was a default thing. So, like, when long periods of unhappiness happen, you're just not really phased a bit because you've been doing it for a decade. So, I'm not saying I'm not a happy person or you're not a happy person, but that's no longer my value system. Um, and you should reconsider that if you want to master getting rejected. Would you rather be the epic person, the person that's like one in every million people that you can um, meet, like literally the like top 2,000 in the globe, or would you rather be happy? That's just really what it, it comes down to. And so, um, and... There's going to be people who think like, well, I can do in the middle. I mean, if you can do in the middle, please go ahead and start a YouTube channel and share with me because I'm telling you I do the happiness. I've done that. Oh, my goal in life is to be happy. And then you just find yourself in this like mediocrity. So um, one, so the first thing that you need to understand when it comes to overcoming rejection is most people do not have, they're not even aware of their advantages. They're kind of like dumber than you think um you know if you're like someone who's aspiring to wealth they're kind of dumb they're they're smart millionaires and they're just like slow millionaires um there's smart politicians there's slow politicians and there's in any spectrum of careers that you can choose there are people who innovate and people who deteriorate the job and there's a lot more people who are leaning on that side. And um, I know that doesn't feel true. It may feel like, oh my gosh, I'm late, I'm behind. Like, am I doing enough? Like, I'm telling you, you're doing enough. I mean, once you try to move up forward, yeah, you're gonna have to work harder, but like a lot of people, they're not nowhere near, anywhere near, um, like critical thinking, anywhere near consciousness, anywhere near predictive behavior, a, a future um, planning, future goal setting, like long-term, like decade-long future goals, um, triple decades, three decades, four decades. They're not even thinking that. They're thinking about like next weekend. So um, you're pretty good on that. And do not buy into the anxiety that you may feel. Like do not um, focus on your plan and stay focused. Because at the end of the day, if you want something, like you can have it. It's just about if you're willing to get rejected and what's your rejection tolerance. Um, and it's their only way to build it, right? Like if someone says like, oh, how do I get a small waist and a big butt? You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to work for it, right? Like you're in some way, you're gonna to have to increase your calories, you're gonna to have to increase the weights month, um, weekly, you're gonna to have to, or you're gonna to have to go to surgery route, but you're gonna to have to do something and in order to get that result. And the doing something is building a, to that's the only way, the doing something and rejection tolerance is to be rejected a lot. So, a true manifester 
is unconcerned with re- rejection. It doesn't matter. You don't care <laughs> because you're going to get it. Whether it's today, whether it's tomorrow, you're acting as if it's already done. You don't care. It's going to happen. The rejection doesn't bother you. If you have to literally create it yourself, then you will do it. It's just simple. It's, it's not an argument. It's not anything weird. It's like you will get it. And so over here on my channel, if you're near here, I always recommend do not uh, try to have as little third parties away from your money, away from your dreams. If you're a musician, don't go to record labels. Stop being desperate for that. If like try and do everything yourself or start your own because babes, like it's harder, but is it? I think both of the routes are hard. Like submitting to somebody, you know what I'm saying? It's hard. And also starting it yourself is hard. Both of them are hard, but you know, one of them won't leave you crazy. Um, the next thing is the only thing that can reject you also is something that's not on your level. So either the opportunity is above you or either the opportunity is below you, but it's not on your level. Okay. And so, but always if but this is simultaneously too. Over here we have dichotomy. If you don't know what dichotomy is, you can believe two things at the same time. Okay, the two things, not even believe two things at the same time. Two things can be true at the same time. So the next thing you'd have to realize is that rejection means redirection, which I know is so corny. And over here I don't like to repeat like advice and repeat what people say and like, oh, re- rejection is redirection. Like it's so, especially when you reject, you're like, is this, is this a joke? Like, but... I wanted to fix that because I'm a creative and rejection actually means redirection and elevation. So no matter what, you will find an opportunity that is with you. It's like an opportunity that's going to help you. It's never going to be something that's going to um, keep you off track. If that, no, if, if that makes sense, all the rejection, especially if it's something you truly, truly wanted, it's always redirection an elevation okay we go and hire and even though you may not understand what the hire is it's only because answers do not come at the same frequency as a problem they don't happen at the same frequency because and I know this it's just it's it's a strange phenomenon I don't know why it happens this way it's very frustrating because when you want answers all you want is the answers it's like this is the last thing I would want to be doing it, um, doing, dealing with, but I'm sorry, I'm like moving so fast. There was, um, there's a lot of creative geniuses that know this. So when they were inventing, I forget which scientist it was, Galileo? No, it wasn't Galileo. One of, one of the great, like, um, Thomas Edison's, like the the Einstein's, like the, the great historians, not historians, like great people who've shaped history. They're not historians. They've shaped history. Therefore, shaping the future. Um, this light was created by one of these geniuses. When they would be writing down their formulas and writing down their theories and writing down their ideas, they would be stuck sometimes, of course. Um, so one of them would take a, it's like a metal sphere and hold it and then fall asleep. And then when he fell asleep, the sphere would fall, wake him up. And then he would have the answer right in his head. And so that is an example of someone shifting his frequency so he can get the answer. Sometimes when I ask questions, so this also might be something you can know, is that I follow my intuition to a T, um, like a to a T. And part of that means that you can't be demanding answers i may ask like what should i do what what path should i go on i don't know what to do like genuinely (laughs) i'm like i just finished college like i don't know i mean i have i know what i'm not gonna do but what should i do the answers will come 20 minutes 30 minutes later after i've sent it out as a i message to god and then when he's like available he'll message me back in a way that makes sense to me and my consciousness And so, um, there's also endless possibilities to get answers for how to get, uh, how to get into your manifestations. There's always 
multiple answers. Um, there's even answers that haven't been invented yet. So as you are placing your order, and you don't care who rejects you, because all rejection is leading into elevation. When you put in that order, there are some ways that you may be going into that next parallel universe, but they haven't been invented. So if they haven't been invented, all the worrying in the world of how this is going to happen wouldn't work because it hasn't been invented. Someone else needs to catch up. And so you also have to understand, one, your desires, your heavy, heavy desires that are plaguing you, right? Like you just need, you. all you can ask for is this. All you want is this. Those desires are something from the future speaking to you. Some version of you is speaking to you and telling you, hey, this is what you're meant to do. And you don't know how to get there, but you know you need to get there. This is how it needs to happen. And that voice is speaking to you at a certain frequency. But it won't exactly tell you how that's going to happen. It's not going to tell you. Unless you are very conscious, you go deep, 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 deep. And there's certain meditations you can do where you go down into your subconscious, you start saying like, I am this, I am whatever you, you're you going to be. Let's say you're like, I'm going to, let's say you want to own some land and you want to create real estate property. You're like, I'm going to own land in Manhattan, New York. It's going to be two acres and I'm going to create luxury apartments and I'm going to charge 10,000 per room and it's going to be like this and it's going to be by the year this this year and there's some way that you can do it and you're you can flow into yourself well comment if you want this in a different video you can flow and some of the ways that you will end up accumulating the money and getting the interior design down is in your, your subconscious mind will literally start to reveal to you because matter, what exists now, this realm, is the conscious mind. The spiritual realm is the unconscious mind. So if you really want to deal with anything, you must get into the spiritual and if you do a lot of subconscious work when it comes to transforming your relationship with money or your relationship with people or your relationship with being seen or the relationship with your inner self or your body or important things that you value in life, as you are continuing that, you are able to tap into the subconscious mind and pull out those quote unquote demons that are blocking you from your conscious mind being able to do and exercise what needs to be done is similar to let's say you have a alcoholic uncle and you love your uncle to death right you love him to death you care about him so much but if you're on my page we believe the spiritual so you know what i'm saying um sometimes you'll be even start to question is this person like possessed why are they acting like this? This is crazy. And it's not until you start going to the spiritual, right, and start to deal with it, then the consciousness can start to raise and be able to come back to their senses and make better choices. Even though the person is trying to attack it in the physical realm. Master of being rejected. There are endless possibilities to that. And if you are conscious that you are being rejected and you have the negative feelings, you have the unworthiness and you have the, is this where I'm supposed to be doing this? And you have the sadness that may flow through you 
or despair or straight up, I'm out. I'm out. I'm not doing this anymore. You have to understand that you might have to shift your frequency. And how you shift your frequency, go for a walk. Ask. Literally say, universe, I need help. I need help. I need help. What do I do? And follow where your intuition... The, the intuition might just say, suddenly be like, I just feel like going to Pete's Coffee. And continue following and continue following your intuition. Nobody knows what the hell they're doing. If you may think somebody knows what they're doing, but they don't know what they're doing. And so you have a better chance of doing something that's right by just following your intuition. And so your goal, your sorry, your values have to change. That's first. Your values have to change. Is my value in life to be happy? Or is my value in life to do this epic thing that I've set out to do? Whether that's being a doctor, a lawyer, a musician, a dancer, a podcaster, a YouTuber, a jewelry maker, a designer, a clean up oceans, welder, best welder in the world. Like become, you know, your Congress of your state. Who cares what it is? If your consciousness wants to do it and you're getting rejected, It means that you need to be elevated. And a master manifester will never, ever, ever, ever give up. Like, they just don't do that. Like, that's not what's going to happen. Because you've, you're manifesting it. A master manifester would be in despair if they didn't reach, achieve it. They wouldn't even... They're the type of person who would be definitely watching this. So if you're watching this, you finished it, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to. You're not investing six all these time all this time le learning and educating yourself so just for it not to happen it comes a point where you've invested so much you're like okay it's got to happen now it has to happen now i've invested so much money i've invested so much that we have nothing to lose we need it needs to happen it needs to happen and it does my course goddess glow is down below love you guys so much bye